it also depends on the dog. It depends on the spouse. It depends on the kids. It depends on all this stuff. So when people are fast fooding you dogs, they don't know your situation. They just tell you this works. Dogs reactive, get a flirt pole. What? What? No. No. If a dog's reactive to another dog or an animal and I get a flirt pole, just saying, okay, aren't I just bringing the drug closer to the junkie? So it just seems like people don't know a lot about building drive when they come up with solutions, right? So dogs reactive and you get, uh, this has been big in the UK, they get a floor pole and the dog starts chasing it. And there's one video where the lady's like, oh, isn't that wonderful? She just is having a jolly good time. And I'm going, well, this is not, not what I would do because you're just trading one for the other. It's barrier frustration that starts the, the leash reactivity. So the dog wants to go see the other dog or wants to chase the rabbit or wants to chase the cat or the bird. And now you bring something that's high energy into it. Of course, why would it go do something else when it can chase something and get it right here? So that's like saying you've got someone who's addicted to heroin and they're robbing banks and you stop them from robbing banks by bringing heroin to them. I guess. I can only get a dog as far in performance as the owners will allow. Think about that. Just marinate on that. If the owner's not going to do anything you tell them, what good is it? Or if they're going to try it once and go, that didn't work. Are you stopping everything the dog is doing to get the wrong message from you? If you have a dog that's dog reactive and you're still taking it to the dog park and daycare on a regular, what are you doing? Well, we'll get an e-caller for it. Mm, that's going to add some conflict to that. You want to add some pain to a permission thing. Okay. I don't know. It's like everybody's trying to have it both ways, right? So the dog pull on leash when it sees another dog. So when you go to daycare or you go to the dog park, does the dog pull you up to the gate? Oh, yeah. That's what you have leash reactivity from. That's why. Now, that's not always the cause but that's 90 percent of it is the dog wants to get to something not kill something if you're correcting the wrong way you're just driving the dog up because the correction it's funny i say i say in the um in the video and i i talk about the fenton video a little bit The guy's going, Fenton, he ain't listening to you when you got everything he wants. What the hell makes you think he's going to listen to you or come back and get a correction when he is chasing deer like he has died and gone to Valhalla? He's just running. The deer. Oh, my God. Fenton, <laughs> you. That's what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Think of it from the dog's perspective, man. You know, so so if you're if you're out there and you're applying things, but still giving the dog everything it wants, how can you ever win? Now, this makes you absolutely ripe for the vultures to come in because, well, I didn't try that method. So let me try this method. I didn't try that call or let me try this call. I didn't try that seminar. Let me try this seminar. There, that's none of that matters. What matters is the relationship with your dog and do you understand how the dog understands you or are you just trying to get your dog to do shit or get your dog to stop doing shit that's that's training in the weakest form of the word but if you look at how the dog sees life and the dog sees like i'm only gonna listen to you if you have food 
I'm only going to listen to you if you have the caller on. I'm only going to listen to you, and barely at that, because if you have reactivity and the dog, you're correcting the brakes off the dog and the dog's not listening, you're tuning the dog out. You're just making the dog immune to your corrections. Does that make sense?